Welcome to the course registration module of Equitec. In this demo video, I will try to demonstrate the step by step registration process for first year students. First year students has to take total 7 courses in the first semester. So here all the list of available courses, serial number, course code, course name and the LPU. L means total number of lectures, lecture hour per week. P means number of practical hour per week and u means total credit in that course so for example chemistry course has three lecture hour per week similarly zero practical hour and total three credit you will gain after the completion of this course so out of here total 10 courses are listed so out of 10 courses, all the first year student will take four courses compulsorily what are these four courses this english language for skills linear algebra physics one and environmental science so these four courses will be compulsory for all the first year students. And then we have six swapped courses. What is swapped course? Like engineering graphics and workshop practice. So this is swapped course. Means 50% of the total first year student will take engineering graphics in this semester. And remaining 50% of the first year student will take workshop practice in this semester. But in the next semester, in the second semester, the, the this will be revised. So those who has taken engineering graphics in the first semester, they will take workshop practice in the second semester. Whereas those who has taken workshop practice in the first semester, they will take engineering graphics in the second semester. Similarly for chemistry and thermodynamics and the computer programming one and computer programming two. So these are the total six courses. So any three courses each student will take. So four courses will be compulsory. What are these four? English language for skills. All first year student will take linear algebra physics one and then environmental science so these all four courses all first year student will take and remaining three courses either it will be engineering graphics or workshop practice chemistry or thermodynamics computer programming one or computer programming two so these swapped courses will be already assigned to you so when whenever you log in in the our lms system learning management system there already you will see that out of these two courses, any one course will be registered under your name similarly for here also in between these two courses, one course will be already registered under your name similarly for computer programming or computer programming too any one will be already registered so now let's uh, visit our lms website and complete our registration process so uh, please note down the website name and this is the, this is the website where all the academic activities will be managed through this website so enter your credential username will be basically your enrollment number which is already provided to you and the password of the lms so these two things already you have so just enter both and you to click on login so once you successfully log in you will be in the dashboard page so see in the left side it is a dashboard so in the dashboard whatever courses are you have, you have to register already registered enrolled courses will be listed here so here you can see computer for this user this is 20 stu something demo user so for this demo user already computer my under the my course heading computer programming engineering graphics and thermodynamics so out of these three swapped courses already assigned so engineering graphics thermodynamics and computer programming one so these three are already assigned to this user similarly whenever you log in in the in your lms portal you will see that these three courses some three either it can be computer programming one or computer programming two Similarly, if it, uh, there may be engineering graphics or maybe workshop practice and then either maybe thermodynamics or maybe chemistry. So either any three will be already listed under the my course and remaining four mandatory codes basically you have to do the registration. So for the registration, please go to course registration tab here in the left panel. So once you click on that course registration will be a link will be open on 21st September. So click on the registration information. So once uh, you are into registration information here, this demo video, you will find it here. Similarly, all the list of courses, so whatever I have shown in this PDF. So this PDF is actually available here. So you can download this PDF here. Then first year user manual, how to do the registration process. That is whatever I am telling now. So that will be written here. Now after, after that, please download the registration card by clicking this link here. So once it is downloaded, just open the registration card. And you feel whatever the required field sets are there. For example, so you are, your branch, you write down. Similarly, whatever is the enrollment number, student name, mobile number, email ID, and all the courses, uh, whichever is there, all the title, course title is mentioned here. So write down all the courses. 
section will be one for all because this semester you your only single section is there so you put one in all the section fill date and then the, your signature and save it in a pdf format or maybe in the word format or a jpg any format is fine so keep this registration card filled and ready in your computer so after that proceed for the registration so you have to register for four courses so what are these four courses if you remember english language for skills you have to register to so find out where is english language for skills english language for skills so click here and then enroll me in the course so once enrollment is done so this welcome message will come so your enrollment is over for this english language skills over now again go to course registration tab and then go to proceed for the registration so one course you have registered now what is next course so next course is linear algebra this is mandatory so next go to linear algebra click on the linear algebra and then send an enrollment enroll me in the course so linear algebra also successfully you have registered now i can go to course registration then proceed for registration now two courses you have enrolled third one is physics one so go to physics one and then enroll me in the course so three courses registration already done and three courses already assigned to you now go to course registration one more course left so which one that is environmental science this is also a mandatory course so go to course registration then go to proceed for registration then environmental science register for environmental science and then enroll me in the course so you have enrolled all the seven courses so three courses already it is enrolled from college university side and remaining four courses you have enrolled so whenever your enrollment is done all the course list will be shown under my course so that is the first part of registration is over now you have to upload the scanned copy of all the registration cards so before uploading the scanned copy of registration card just go to here and then profile and in the profile you will see all the courses which you have registered make sure that here all the seven courses are listed here like computer programming one graphics english language environmental science linear algebra physics one and thermodynamics one so one two three four five six seven so make sure that all the seven courses are listed here so now it's time to upload the registration card so go to course registration tab and the last link is registration card submission click here and then you have to submit and submission so here one copy a field copy I, I have just shown for demonstration purpose so here basically this is the registration card which you have already downloaded write down the branch enrollment number name mobile number email id and all the subjects will be already written for you and the section also all one section and then put it the date and the signature of you and this is the scanned copy or you can save it either in pdf or maybe in word or in a jpg file uh, image format also fine then go to registration card upload button and then you are here you select click on that and upload a file just give the location where that file is saved so for example for my case this is this one demo registration card upload this file uh, and this file will be uploaded in no time so after it's uploaded just save changes then it will be automatically saved and uh, the status it will show submission status submitted for grading so you have successfully submitted the registration card so your registration is completed so make sure that you have to do two things first one is when you come to lms portal first uh, you have to do the registration for all the seven courses by going to proceed for registration all the seven courses will you have to register three courses will be already registered from the university side and remaining four courses you have to register one by one after this registration is done then go to registration card submission here you upload the scanned copy of the registration card so when you complete both the things then only your registration will be completed thank you so much